hope you're doing well. Right, apologies for wearing a skull t-shirt in April. Kind of just fancied going to the dark side today and I just want it to be comfy. So we haven't really got the full manly arms out, but we have got a little bit of the manly Casper arms out. But hey ho, we're just going to go with it. Hair is up in the highest ponytail known to man because I just need it off my face today. And my lovelies, you will see... We have another super drug haul. I may have got a little carried away and we got two boxes. Not gonna lie though, they're a bit battered and everything. Like, I did think whether they had been tampered with, but I had a quick look in, just kind of, because look, that's how it arrived to me. So I was a little bit dubious if stuff had been taken out there, but it all seems to be there. Here's hoping. So. Get comfy, get cosy, you know the drill. We're going to have a little bit of... What do we have in this? I've ordered it so long ago, I can't remember. Anyway, you know it's going to be a good haul. Get comfy, let's get cosy, and let's get in with our super drug haul. Right, so let's just start, as I say, because this was how it arrived to me. I was quite worried. Hopefully nothing is out. As I say, we shall know. God... It's going to be one of them packaging days, ain't it, my lovely? Let's just tear and hope to God. I don't break it now. This is why I need to start doing my weights again. Right. Is this the only thing in here? Right. That's easy. That's the first one done. Oh. They feel a little crushed, but hey, home sure they taste just fine i picked up if i remember three of these so i'm hoping there's two in this box and they didn't just put one in there because that seems a bit of a waste of packaging or if there was another two in there and someone's nicked me other two sweet chili soya and chickpea popped chips i ain't gonna be happy i picked these up as i say i'd be on a health kick but i still have a savory tooth so these were three for a pound as I say, I'm hoping there's another two in there. And they are from Light Bites, Sweet Chili, Soya and Chickpea Popped Chips. They're only 97 calories. I didn't think that was too bad, my lovelies. So as I say, I did pick up three of those. So here's hoping, but I'm not being funny. I don't know if that's right, how that's come. I've never had a super drug parcel come like that and I've never had like boots or anything come like that. So that's a little worrying that it's all taped up like that. I really do hope no one's nicked anything out of the box. Right, let's see. Ow! It's all good, the nail's not broke. So I can't really remember what I got, but I think I just got a mix match of everything. Oh my God, I've got no upper body strength, guys, honestly. If you haven't seen already, I've done a boots haul. That will be up. I shall leave it down there up above, you know, the drill. And I always, I can't do one shop without the other. If I go on boots, I have to go on Superdrug because I like to compare that offers, see what they've got. And then whoever's cheapest on the bits that I need, I just kind of like split it 50-50. So, ah, right. No one nicked me chips. That's great. Oh, I thought I got all sweet chilli. Okay, that one is definitely bashed. Good job that's not my one. So, I got three flavours. I got salt and vinegar, which are extremely bashed by a bottle in there. I picked those up for mum, because you know I'm very fussy with like salt and vinegar things. And then I picked myself up some barbecue. How do you think that they would just have put that extra little bag in this box? Because there's plenty of room. Not about saving the packaging now, super drug. Oh my god, everything's gonna fall. Thank you. So, okay, okay, okay. Oh my goodness, there's another bag of crisps. Well, I don't think these are my flavour either. Cheese and onion. I'm not even gonna, guys, just look. They're gonna be like croutons. I can just feel that smash. Oh, so it was four for a quid. I thought it was three for a quid. Yeah, look at that. Like, literally, it's flat as a pancake. So, well, that probably is going to go straight in the bin. That's a bit of a thing. Right, 
my top advice do not get any crisps or crispable products from Superdrug because it doesn't seem that they package it quite right. You would have thought they'd maybe have put them all in one box and then done a slightly smaller box for this so your crisps don't get smashed. And here's me trying to be healthy, eh? I mean, it's just showing me that I'm not meant to eat them. I'm meant to eat my whole bag of share bag. What's this? But hey ho, what have we got in here? Ah, right. I picked up a bottle of Surgical Spirit. I think this was £1.80. Right. I don't actually need this for medical purposes. I don't actually know what it does. It said it prevents bed sores and hardened skin. I definitely don't need that because I'm not in bed 24 seven to get bed sores. I have got this because I don't know if you remember in my cherries haul, actually would cherries have been up yet? Not entirely sure. If it has, I'll link it up there down below, you know the drill. Or if not, cherries is coming very soon. But I picked up some white vinegar spray. I've also picked up this surgical spirit because one of my handbags has kind of cross contaminated with the other. I've got like dye transfer between them, which is the most annoying. So I've got red paint and leather has gone on to my cream paint and leather. I don't know how it's transferred because I thought paint and leather, it's like a crock effect. It can't transfer, but clearly it can because it's gone on my cream bag. So I've been looking up plenty of old wives tales and some people said Vaseline with white vinegar spray and then some people said surgical spirit we're trying everything before we put bleach on it because the bleach i'm very worried is literally going to purely just strip the color and i don't want that because it wasn't a cheap bag and it's one of my favorites so i was kind of gutted about that but hey ho what else have we got in here right these you will know are my go-to's for razors but i begrudge paying i think it's like three pound a pack three could possibly be 350 360 because i picked these up i think those 150 180 that was basically almost half price but it was an eight pack so i got two packs of the simply venus razors as i say love these because you've got a little bit of um gel coating is it so it does slightly help to prevent cuts but you have to be careful. Sometimes I can be like shaving my legs and if I lose concentration just that tiny bit, I always nick around my ankles. Anyone else relate to that? The rest of my legs or the little bits, you know, you know on the knee bits just under like your actual knee bone. There or my ankles, I like, do you like my little socks? Got my little fluffy bed socks, uh, well bed slippers actually today. Yeah, I always nick around the ankle or just under the knee. So I haven't been too bad with those touch wood. That's not wood, that's MDF, but hey ho, wood, cardboard, it's all the same, innit? Um, <laughs> it's been a long day, my lovelies, and I'm actually filming this the day I'm doing 24 hours eating Easter food. I have got so much chocolate in my system right now, I'm a little bit hyper, so I do apologise for that. But yeah, I've been using these, God. I think forever. I tried big. I tried, you get like a pack of three pink big ones. Oh my god, they cut my legs to smithereens. So no, I stick with me Gillette Simply Venus. Da da da! Ah. Another like healthcare thing. I think these were £2. I'm not spending over the odds because I don't know if I'm going to like them to be perfectly honest. But a few of you recommended some vitamins because you've noticed through my videos I was getting like a bit run down. I was getting like an ulcer. I had a cold sore. Then I had like another little cold. So I found these general well-being multivitamins. There's 60 tablets in here and it's one a day. So I've got like a couple of months worth. And I just thought, you know what, I'll give it a whirl. And if I do all right with them, then I can maybe look at a bigger or better patch. Right. I was going to say, is that, that's like childproof, isn't it? Right. Oh, I can't get into it. I'm not doing that. I'm going to break it now. Right. Well, I think what I might do is start them on the 1st of April. Well, 5th of April when I'm having my health kick and I can give you an update like in vlogs and that as to how they've worked if I've noticed a difference because it just says a general well-being multivitamin so I think it contains 11 nutrients including vitamin C to support the immune system for the maintenance of overall good health vitality and nutritional balance so I'm hoping they'll be all right and how do you have them swallow one daily oh swallow one tablet daily with a meal 
Oh, that's right. So I can have my din dins every day. So I shall let you know how I get on with that. Oh, okay. I've got another pack of razors. 24 razors. I am uh, well and truly stocked up there, Shan. But as I say, when they're like on offer for half price, I normally pick up like, I think I normally do pick up like four or six. So three isn't too bad for me, but there's just literally no more room in the bathroom after having that lush delivery bathroom's kind of overrun and mama g's like she's losing more and more floor space so you think it would just go in the units but it's not it's now actually on the floor and I, yeah i think she's having a bit of a meltdown so three's good for me 24 razors that'll do us a while but hey ho can't be stressing mama g out any more than she already is these it's normally i think buy one get one half price so they are normally four pound a tub so you get two for six and they are the deep action pore cleansing pads oh my god i have used these for forever and a day back when i was younger and i had really bad um acne i had god how old was i i think between the years of 13 to 16 maybe i had really bad um acne to which i was prescribed roaccutane i think it's roaccutane you know the it's like the strongest one you can have for acne but it has very very controversial side effects like my personal experience with roaccutane was it made me so sad definitely played with my emotions like one minute i was high then i was low hated looking at myself in the mirror does make you as i say very sad and kind of dark thoughts so i think i was on roaccutane for about two months and i just said to my mama g i was like i cannot be on this like it was messing with my head and you would think an antibiotic or anything for your skin what's it doing to my brain but yeah it was not good for me at all so i come off of that but i've been using these since forever day one you know some mornings i always do a face wipe but some mornings say if i've worn makeup the day before and i've then done all my cleansing da, da, da. the next morning i'll put a face wipe on and you're still getting like that odd little residue go in with one of these and i cannot recommend these enough there's 40 pads so you get 80 for six quid which ain't too bad i think there's definitely maybe cheaper ones out there but there's definitely more expensive i've tried the clear seal clear seal clear seal the white blue and purple like pop them i think are like what six seven pound a pop nip and fab 10 pound pot plus i can't tell the difference i always go back to these i normally though do pick up about six or eight i'm not gonna lie and b now loves these as well so probably because i've only got two no my luck i'll probably get a message from him in the week saying i've run out of face pads can you send me some and i'm gonna be like that's all i have but no worries i'm sure i can pop into super drug after work one day and pick them up yes and i think if i do i'm gonna go and actually pick up some crisps because I'm just, I'm not happy about that. I'm sorry. Well, <laughs> I say I'm not happy. At least they're not my flavours. But anyway, the thought was there to give them to Mama G. And I can't really give her a box of trodden, deflated crisp, can I? And do you want to see the culprit for why it was deflated? This baby. So this was three pound. I think it was half price. They're normally about five or six pound. And it is the Dove Exfoliating Body Scrub in crushed macadamia and rice milk scent. So you are probably thinking, Shannon, do you need any more bath products? Probably not. I had this in. What scent did I have it? I've just realised I picked another one up. I picked it up in. What's my other one? Yes so i've got a repurchase in there i had it in an aloe and cucumber one a green pot and then i had a pink flavored one which you're going to see very shortly but this one i never tried as i say the rice macadamia and rice milk you know what that it's gonna sound so weird reminds me of my nan it's very like wow that's weird you can smell like the nut obviously the macadamia nut but it reminds me a bit like talcum powder as well very very weird god that's brought back so many memories so as you see it's just a little scrub 
and this is great i cannot recommend these enough i wouldn't pay six pounds for it i'm not gonna lie because that is a little bit steep for me but when it's on offer you know that i will be picking it up so yes that's the blue one i also have a repurchase of the pink one so this is the pomegranate seeds and sheer butter scent but i couldn't find the green one which as i say is the aloe so i don't know if they stopped the aloe and cucumber but hey ho at least i managed to get another two probably didn't need it because i've still got a few from the body shop in there but oh, that is just divine so this one's just got like little pale bits running through of baby pink oh i love that one and this one it's weird because you know like most scrubs they're like gritty and soy this is that but because i think it's dark when you're doing it it's gritty but it's almost got like a moisturizer in it as well oh who is calling me sorry for that my lovely be called i called him just before i started filming and he always does it he always calls bang in the middle of filming so yes anyway where was i couldn't find the green one but as i say it's moisturizing so i know sometimes with salt scrubs and body scrubs it can like make your skin feel really obviously dry but just rough Whereas that, I think it's got the nourishment of Dove in there. So it's not so bad. Lovely on your feet. If you want to have a proper pamper and you want to like get any dead skin off your feet, my feet are like baby's bottoms because they're always exfoliated. I normally have an exfoliation, I'd say every two weeks. It's not good to do it all the time because obviously you take away, I think it's like the natural chemicals or oils in your body. But I do like a nice exfoliation every couple of weeks just to... Almost like a snake shedding skin, you know. That sounds disgusting, but hey ho, that's the nature of life. And then this was down to I think about two, two or three pounds. It was half price. This is the 400 ml of Garnier Micellar Water. My god, how many years has this product been about? I remember when it first came out, it was just the pink lid. And now you get the green lid, and I'm sure you get plenty of other lids. I think I've seen a rose one, there's an oil one. I just stick with the combination and oily skin, because as I say, my skin can be very temperamental sometimes, but you can't go wrong. The pink one, however, you can get, I think it's like a litre. You get like a huge bottle of that one, but I thought I would just stick with my little go-to, because I've not got much left of my old one at the moment, so I thought I might as well do another little repurchase while i had an order in right what do we have here so these were two for five pound when i purchased them but as i say all the bits and bobs i will try and leave down in the description box below for you but i thought i'll try a new little dry shampoo because i don't know about you i hate hair wash day dry shampoo is my savior but I'm very fussy. The only one that I have found that really works is Baptiste. Baptiste? I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it. There was one that I found in Tesco called Leo Bancroft or Lee Bancroft. That was all right, but it didn't give it like a full fresh. It was all right for like a little bit when you're like a day or two grease. But when you're hitting like day four or five grease, you need Baptiste to like whew, need that stuff to work. So I saw this. I read up the reviews apparently it's great so it's by tresemme and it says day two between washes and it's a foaming dry shampoo no visible residue fresh and clean instantly refreshes and absorbs excess oil without using a drop of water so i thought you know what we shall give those a go i think and i'm very intrigued as i say with a foam i don't want to get it out just yet because my hair at the moment is dry shampoo central but when will I use this? I'm trying to think hair wash day to the next time you'll see me. I'll probably pop a bit of this in a vlog. Maybe the shopping vlog. Who knows? You'll definitely see an update because two for a fiver, that's not too bad. I think on its own they were like about £3.54 a bottle. So a little bit steep. But if I can get them on offer and they are good, I shall let you know. Or I will just let you know over on my lifestyle Instagram. If you didn't know, I have a food and a lifestyle Instagram. They're always down in the description box if you want to go and have a little bit of a look. You don't have to, but if you do, that'll be much appreciated. Right. And down to our last few things now. I don't know why I bought this. I'm not going to lie. I just saw it and I was like, oh, I like the packaging of that. Anyway, 
So I picked up a coconut whitening toothpaste. Helps remove stains. So it contains coconut oil with a minty coconut flavor and also helps to prevent against tooth decay. So as you all know, I treated myself at Christmas to a new toothbrush. It is the Oral-B Braun Genius. And I absolutely love this. This is like toothbrush cleaning on a whole nother level. Like it connects to my phone. It gives me little exercises, different settings. If I brush too hard, it's like beep, 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 beep. All of that jazz. So I want to try a few new little toothpaste. I'm sure you would have seen I picked toothpaste up in the boots hall. That you will be seeing in my Easter vlog because I want to keep it. It's like very spring scented. Scented flavour is toothpaste. I don't know what it is. So I picked this up, as I say, and it's the coconut whitening toothpaste. I think this was about £1.25 or £1.50. And I thought, you know what, we'll just give it a go, as I say, because I've got my new brush. I do want to try and take care of the old gnashes a bit more. But the only thing, I want my fangs sorted. Like, I look like a vampire. When I was younger, fun fact, I actually went for a consultation to have composite bonding on the front two teeth. Um, Not front two, but, yeah, you know, like my front end ones, because they're little fangs. And I was always, like, not bullied, but it'd be like, nah, fangy, meh, 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 meh. So... I've always been conscious of them and like just when I smile sometimes I'm like mm, like I try not to show I can smile to like maybe half but then you always see the fangs so I thought get them a little bit whiter and then as I say I went for composite bonding and then something right at the end just made me know mum was like that's you excuse me like that's your thing you've got the fangs that's your little niche and I was like and I was like, but I don't know if I like them. And then Mum said, well, do what you want. Excuse me. Oh, Elemis. A little exclusive offer in there. Can't be doing any more spending. God, my bank balance is shot this month. Anyway, stop rambling. Um, went to the thing and then, long story short, I kind of backed out at the end because I thought it does. My fangs are me. I've dealt with them for like 20 odd years. And until I get to the point where I physically will not smile anymore, I'm still smiling, I'm still here, but until it gets to the point where I physically will not smile because of them, then I'll have to get it sorted. So for the moment, I just want to try and whiten and brush them up. Oh, I would say I'll show you what it is. It's got all these silver screw caps. So once again, if I do a little series on my Instagram, I shall let you know how it is on there. But I don't think that's too bad. And I love the packaging very spring tropical vibes do you not think so yes let me know do any of you have anything like especially with teeth because like teeth is such a big thing like obviously it's a main part of your face and it's like how you gain interaction in a way with people so i don't know if i'm the only one if you have any problems or like anything you're conscious about with your teeth right that squeak was not me it was the chair i need to re-screw my legs a little bit because i keep moving this chair around and it's like eh, eh. i'm like oh please don't collapse on me when i sit on it i know i've put on a bit of weight but not that much just yet so yeah if you've got anything like with your teeth or anything you just want to share down below let me know because mama g she hates her teeth but her thing is her teeth got quite bad from a young age because she had to have steroids for her asthma so that was her thing but she says 61 coming up that's still all her own teeth she hasn't got false teeth they're her own she said they might not be perfect but at least they're still her own nashes so she's quite happy with hers dad's not gonna lie dada's could be a little bit better but his is through like smoking like the amount you would have seen i've picked up like teeth whitening products and everything for him he's just like <laughs> It's like, I'm 50 years old, why do I need gleaming white teeth? I'm not okay. So, I do try and keep mine semi... They're alright. I mean, they could be a few shades whiter, but I think they're alright. They've got a bit of chocolate at the back of one of them at the moment because I've been eating chocolate all day. I hope the camera don't pick that up this far away. But anyway, God, look at me rambling on. As always, the last product, my lovelies. Going on for like the hair care scrubs did you know you can get a scrub for your hair because i didn't i saw this when i picked up the dry shampoo and it's tresemme again and it's the exfoliating scalp scrub for greasy hair 
Now, if that's not just me in a little bottle, I don't know what it is. It says purify and hydrate with hyaluronic acid and white clay. Pre-shampoo, exfoliates the scalp for a grease-free finish. So that is what it looks like. And as I say, I'm not entirely sure. I think this was £3, half price again. And I just saw it and I saw like greasy hair and I thought, well, that's me pretty much 24-7. So it says congested greasy scalp that leaves hair feeling weighed down. Say goodbye to extreme buildup, refresh and invigorate your scalp back to life. How do I use on wet hair before shampooing? Apply the purifying pre shampoo exfoliating scrub onto the scalp, section by section until evenly covered. Gently massage the scalp with your fingertips for one minute before rinsing thoroughly through. Follow with purifying hydrate shampoo. Well, I don't have the shampoo, I just have my own one. Right, so it's kind of like a little detox for your scalp because I don't know about you. Wow, oh, I didn't expect it to look like that. Oh, it smells nice though. Oh, maybe I should have got the shampoo if it smells like this. Right, so it's like a grey. I don't want to tip it too much in case it comes out. But can you? Hold on, I don't want to be dropping this scrub everywhere. Let's just pop you down a little bit for a minute. Ah, can I pop you down? There we go. So it's almost like it gives me very like Dead Sea mineral vibes. You know what I mean? Oh, it does smell delightful. So, I don't know about you, but you know like sometimes when it's dry shampoo upon dry shampoo upon dry shampoo and you keep thinking, no, I'm going to get it sorted and then the next morning comes and you're like, oh, we're just going to do it. Sometimes like you do get a build up and I get my build up, especially at like the front section. And sometimes it's like you'll brush your hair and if you hold up your hair, you can see like a chunk where it's just coated in dry shampoo and then it's like it's not a good look that's when you know you need to wash and it's like okay i'm well and truly in need of a wash so this is actually really good and as i say again i shall let you know because full price i think it was about seven or eight pounds so i picked it up for about three or three fifty i think and if it does work and being a dry shampoo fanatic that i am that may be a very handy thing just because sometimes when you shampoo with dry shampoo and you can feel those bits, it is almost like your skin does need like a bit of a scrub. So I think we ended that on a bang, my lovelies. And that, looking at my desk, is the super drug haul done. So my lovelies, that is our second super drug haul on the channel. I don't know if you've been around here from the beginning. I done a super drug haul very early on. I'll leave it down there up above, you know, the drill. And I can't remember what I bought then. I think it was a bit of everything and anything once again. I remember I got some slim fast lemon cookies. They was good. Oh, I do remember them. But I think I do want to try and feature a few more like boots and super drug hauls on the channel. It's not often that I go in and do huge stock ups. As I say, this is like a standard little one for me, which you're probably thinking, well, it's not that big. But to me, it's standard, but it's still quite a bit. Like I say, I think this comes to about... 40 odd quid everything so still not cheap and cheerful boots is the one i tend to spend a bit more because boots they have a lot more range of makeup so the only makeup brand that i use in superdrug if they have anything that i need will be rimmel whereas you'll know with boots i like myx or like nyx so boots i can kind of spend a little bit more but superdrug i love it because it's normally cheap and cheerful go in get your bits and bobs but as i say if there's one thing i could recommend like from personal use that i know the results it would be these pore cleansing wipes. Honestly, if you need anything and you just want like, not a face wipe, but you actually just want to give a little bit of a more rougher, not rougher, but like more detailed little uh, wipe in the mornings or evenings, highly recommend them. Dove scrubs, as I say, that was a personal little favourite. I would highly recommend them. And I shall let you know about the old Tresemme products online, as I say, probably on my lifestyle Instagram or throughout a vlog look at this i'm rambling as always so if you did enjoy the video you know what to do guys hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below as i say and leave us a comment if you've tried any of these products or any recommendations any dry shampoo recommendations apart from batiste any razor recommendations that you'd advise as opposed to gillette anything regarding exfoliating pads i know nip and fab they are nice but 
I can't justify paying like a tenner plus for a pot. I really can't. But hey ho. Oh, and also the vitamins. I'll give you a rundown in another vlog. As I say, I'll start taking them 5th of April. Is it 5th of April? I'm sure. Easter Monday. I'll start taking them then because I'm going to be on my health kick. And hopefully, I'm going to be on the health kick. Try and get a bit of exercise in. Trying to feel better. So hopefully, I won't be so tired and I won't be run down as much. And come out in cold sores and ulcers. That's fabulous. Take care, my lovelies, and I shall see you all in the next one. Bye!